Anne in Lake Livingston has a question about a fireplace remodel. It is blocking their view of the water. And Tear it's it out. Got to go. Well, that's what Anne says. <laughs> okay. and it's, it's interesting you should say that because Anne writes. <laughs> Hi, Ann. We would like to remove the fireplace and replace it with a small one, perhaps even like a Franklin stove okay. or another option is maybe an electric fireplace. So, Tom, Ann wants to know what's involved with taking down this fireplace and changing it out. A lot. So you're going to have to get a professional to remove the whole thing, restructure that whole wall. Uh, it's going to be a it's going to be a major expense. So the view better be really good. Uh, it's going to be a lot more than you'll think it is. Uh, you can get a Franklin stove. Okay, wait a minute. Like. That describes every home improvement it's project. Sure. Okay. No, I mean, a can of peaches is more expensive than you want it to yeah, be. Yeah, let me talk to you about my wall. Work <laughs> okay, fine. Anyway, uh, go ahead and get a price. A professional is going to have to do it. There's a lot of demo. The room's going to be unlivable for a long time, probably a month or two. And they're going to have to rebuild that whole wall and restructure that whole wall. As far as the Franklin stove, if you want that, that's fine. It's still going to have a flue going up. The problem with those is, and up north we use them for heating. Mm -hmm. It'll heat a house up so hot down here yeah, you're right. that you're going to have to open all the windows and open run the air conditioning. The AC, yeah. So it's good to look at, but it's not real practical for that fireplace experience. An electric one, I don't know. That's a matter of opinion. I think they're the re most ridiculous thing in the world with the little fluttery paper going on and the little light bulb behind there. It's an infrared light bulb. Have really? you seen them? No. But there's a big sale at QVC if you want to see the electric fireplace. It looks really weird. But if you like it, it's fine, too. It's a heating system. Uh, but you can get a small fireplace mm -hmm. that back vents, and yeah. you could have gas logs. And then you could get that fireplace I about experience. That too, but you know, she says she doesn't like Livingston. I bet you they'd have to have, they'd have to be propane. I bet they may not have gas. Logs. That could be. And if you have propane, or you could actually have a wood burning one, but usually their gas logs are propane. But it'll vent out the back. Vent out the back, so it's only going to be like thirty six inches okay. high, and you'll be able to see over it. I assume. Here's the other thing, Charlie. I assume if they're taking this fireplace out, they want to do the whole wall and windows, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see, I'm not going to just put a wall up. You might as well leave the fireplace. So that's why all that restructuring is going to have to be done. Yeah, because you have to have the load. Oh yeah, you got loads going, and you got yeah. a lot of stuff going on there. So it's going to be pretty major, but and, and it'll you know, be beautiful. And, and here's the thing to be thankful for, Anne. You're building it out in Lake Livingston. Because let me tell you something. You won't yeah. find anybody to do it, so yeah, you won't well, have to do it. <laughs> we're, we're, we're moving a wall in our new building. I want to tell you something. You would think we were sending a man to the moon. <laughs> yeah. The engineering we're having to do. So, all right. You got more questions? You can send them to us. Go to the Ask Tom tab, send it to, or just look for the, more of these videos. That's where we hide them there at homeshowradio.com.